Beautiful Dream. Let's check it out. Okay, so we start off with a G major chord. Um, played on a keyboard, I guess, or with some... Maybe it's uh, sort of that Smith's um, delay kind of tremolo sound, but it's probably a keyboard, but who knows. But anyway, it's... Um, and there's a quick F in there. So basically the chord is a... Right there, but you really only want to play the notes on the G string, the G and the B. So it's just a root third, and then a quick F. So in the background, you can just hear like a um, kind of a pilot tone, so to speak. Hear that G and F. And then there's a lick right there. I don't know if that's a harmonica or what the hell that is. And it's just kind of a, just a simple G major thing starting on the seventh degree, so F sharp. Walk it down uh, a step. And then another step, F sharp, E, D, B. And you really, it's kind of hard to hear, but there's a D note, and it resolves to G. All right. And then it kicks in. We've got that famous bass line. Uh, this was played by Kevin Mooney, who... I'm sure most of you know, played on the Kings of the Wild Frontier album. He's really, really awesome. So let's listen to this bass. I'm going to show you how to do it on the guitar because it's a great lick. So let's do that. So it's straight up um, G, it's like a, yeah, it's pretty much like G pentatonic. So, uh, so we start off on G, A to B hammer, and then D to E hammer, and then D, B. Hammer A to B, D, pull off from E, B, back to G. Right. Uh, you can also do it here. Uh, uh, hold on. up here that doesn't sound as good um, anyway I thought I'd throw that in uh, and the whole verse is just that repeated over and over and you can hear various little things Marco's doing in the background it's basically just G chord variations so if we just go back to the beginning here's there listen there that's just a, a G chord right there big G chord there Same. oh you can also hear a major 7 to G here F sharp Listen, you can hear it. Right there, you hear it? And you can hear 
You just listen. Right there, you hear that? A to B, slide up, hit the D. It reminds me of uh, uh, Eddie, is it Eddie Cochran, Dwayne Cochran? What is that? Uh, I'll think of it before the end of this song. Okay, so then we go to the chorus. Um, and then we have a couple of chords here. Let's play that. guitar is there the guitar is playing arpeggios of a uh, C and an A minor 7 chord but underneath you can hear right so So the bass plays right there at the end. There's no guitar on that, but it's a D. It implied D chord. So you could play just C and A minor seven. Push, push, cause I like on that said. Push, push, and then she pushed back. But I think it's an A minor. So the arpeggio is A minor seven. And just take your uh, ring finger away. And then the bass. Listen. Or more likely. And then it just repeats, guys, and it's the same. Uh... So it just goes on and on like that. There's really not much happening in this song. Another chorus coming up here. Okay, so then we have a uh, acapella. Well, not acapella. There's drums, but it's all over G. Right, so then we kick back in after the voice guitar, uh, the voice and drum part, and he throws in a, a little a kind of a lead lick here. Listen. All right, keep listening. He, um, excuse me, keep listening because he changes it slightly. All right, you hear that right there? He changed it a bit. Listen. He slides in. So instead of, he goes. So you slide A to B, D, and then D again. Think again here, and then normal. And that just keeps going. Another chorus.
it just goes out on the fade. Yep, so pretty repetitive, but very hypnotic. One of my favorite songs on the record. So, beautiful dream, right on.